Hey, what's up guys? This is Dan here. Thumbs up for new lights, new background, new haircut. So it's literally 30 degrees outside today, so don't mind me if I just keep doing this every 10 seconds because it's hot and this light doesn't help. So today I want to show you guys how to record the screen off your iPhone, iPod, iPad, whatever. I want to say thanks to Jack Attack who commented on my video last week. There it is right there. I suggested a great app called Air Server, which is basically an AirPlay receiver for Mac OS X and Windows. Now Air Server is a paid app, although there is a free trial, but having tested it, it really is worth the small price. Price, and if you're up for recording your screen properly, it's the only way to do it. I'll give you guys the links below. This is a seven day free trial, as I said, and if you like it, go ahead and buy it. It's not too expensive. Support the developers. So I have an iPhone 5 here. I can't show you guys right now because it's my camera, but let's go and record the screen. So first off, you need to make sure your iOS device is connected to the same network as your computer is so you can stream your screen to it. Your device also needs to support AirPlay mirroring in order for this to work. Check the description below for a list of supported devices. Once you've taken care of that, head to airserver.com and on the download page choose either the Mac or Windows version. Then either download the 7 day trial or buy the app in full. Either way you'll receive an activation code. Keep this safe, you'll use it to activate your copies of AirServer in the future. So before we get into recording our screen, let's test out AirPlay to make sure everything works smoothly. Firstly, open the AirServer app on your computer. The first time you open it, you'll be asked for an activation code, but from then on, you'll access all your settings through this little icon in the Mac menu bar, or this icon in the Windows tray. On Windows, you may have to install a DirectX update. AirServer will bring you to the download page. Click download and then continue. Double click the install file and extract everything into a folder on your desktop. Double click the extracted installer to complete the installation, then restart the AirServer installer. You can access settings from that little icon in your menu bar or system tray. The default settings should be fine for most people, but you may want to change the password setting, the audio buffer size, and the optimize for setting. Make sure to keep the app running, and on your iOS device, double click home, scroll twice to the left, and you should see an AirPlay button next to the volume control. Choose your computer and select mirroring, and based on your password setting, you may have to grant access to this device from your computer. If all goes well, the Air Server window should open to reveal your screen in real time. You can play around with some post-processing settings if you like, but I prefer to turn them all off. When you're finished, you can close the connection by choosing the first option in the AirPlay list on your device. Now, when it comes to recording your screen, unfortunately, Air Server doesn't come with a record function. But since the app opens in full screen, you can really use any screen recording software to record while Air Server is open. On Mac OS X I like to use ScreenFlow, it's by far the best screen recorder for the platform, although it is a $99 application. If you can't afford it, there's plenty of other cheaper and free solutions too, including the new version of QuickTime which comes installed on every Mac. For Windows I like to use Camtasia Studio, which again is a paid app, but like ScreenFlow, it's the best for the platform and performs a lot better than other apps. Once you have your clip recorded, you can do pretty much whatever you want with it. I like to stick it behind this iPhone template I made up so my recording actually looks like it's on an iPhone, but of course, what you do with the recordings is entirely up to you. So that is how to record the screen off your iDevice. Make sure to check the description below for a list of devices that support AirPlay mirroring, because that is required. I'll be back next Saturday with a brand new video. That's right, I'll finally get my shit together. I'll see you guys soon. So as you can see, I am not on holiday and I do not have a tourist attraction to photograph. So as you can see, my camera is on a tripod. This is very important. You need to have your camera on a tripod for Photoshop to work. So I'm gonna take my 10 pictures. I'll get my brother to help me and we'll see how they turn out afterwards.